Ever wondered if Christianity holds the truth? A question simple yet profound. In the grand scheme of life's mysteries, the authenticity of faith often sparks curiosity. Today we'll explore an intriguing topic. Testing the truth of Christianity will set forth on a journey to understand the bedrock of this faith, its core, and how certain aspects can be put to the test. So let's embark on this enlightening quest together. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this fascinating subject. Before we begin the test, let's understand what Christianity is all about. Christianity, a faith that has shaped the course of human history for over two millennia, is a monotheistic religion centered around the life, teachings, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Its origins can be traced back to the first century in the Roman province of Judea, present-day Israel. Christianity, initially a sect within Judaism, eventually grew to become one of the world's largest religions, with around two billion followers globally today. Beliefs in Christianity are diverse and complex, yet they center around a few core principles. The most fundamental of these is the belief in one God who is infinitely perfect, the creator of all things, and who exists as three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This concept, known as the Trinity, is a unique and vital aspect of Christian theology. Christianity also teaches about the incarnation of God in the person of Jesus Christ, who Christians believe was not just a prophet, but God himself in human form. His life, death and resurrection form the crux of Christian faith and hope. Another key tenet of Christianity is the concept of salvation. The belief that through faith in Jesus Christ, individuals can be forgiven for their sins and attain eternal life. This salvation, Christians believe, is a gift of God's grace, not something that can be earned through good deeds. The Bible, consisting of the Old and New Testaments, is the sacred scripture of Christianity. It is considered the inspired word of God and serves as the ultimate authority and guide for Christian faith and practice. The Christian faith, therefore, is not just about adhering to a set of doctrines. It's about a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ, a life marked by love, compassion, and a pursuit of righteousness. As we delve deeper into understanding Christianity, keep in mind that it's a journey of faith, a journey of seeking and finding, questioning and understanding. Remember to subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, the Bible, the very foundation of Christianity, but how do we know it's true? Ah, the Bible. A collection of 66 books written over a span of roughly 1500 years by more than 40 authors from all walks of life. Kings, shepherds, philosophers, fishermen, poets, statesmen, scholars, all contributing to this unique and unified masterpiece that has not only endured but thrived through centuries. Let's delve into the authenticity of the Bible. First, we have archaeological evidence from the ancient city of Jericho's walls that fell flat to King David's existence, confirmed by the Tel Dan inscription, Archaeological findings have consistently supported the historical accuracy of the Bible. These tangible artifacts serve as silent witnesses affirming the biblical narrative. Next, we have the continuity of the manuscript tradition. The sheer number of ancient Bible manuscripts dwarfs that of any other classical work. With over 5,000 Greek, 10,000 Latin and 10,000 in other languages, the New Testament boasts an overwhelming manuscript evidence. The Dead Sea Scrolls, discovered in the mid-20th century, included copies of the Hebrew Scriptures dating a thousand years earlier than any previously known copies, and yet they were virtually identical. This demonstrates the remarkable accuracy with which these texts have been preserved through the ages. Lastly, we must consider the Bible's profound impact on society. It has shaped laws, inspired art and transformed lives. It has provided moral compass to the lost, comfort to the grieving and hope to the hopeless. Its teachings have been the catalyst for advancements in human rights, education and social justice. In essence, the Bible is not just a book, but a historical document, a moral guide, a source of comfort and an agent of change. Its authenticity is backed by archaeological evidence, manuscript tradition and its undeniable influence on society. So the next time you pick up a Bible, remember you're not just holding a book, you're holding a piece of history, a beacon of moral guidance, and a testament of transformative power. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share your thoughts in the comments. At the heart of Christianity is Jesus Christ. But who was he really? 
Let's delve into the life, teachings and influence of Jesus Christ. Born in Bethlehem, his tale is a remarkable one, filled with lessons of love, compassion and forgiveness that have spanned over two millennia. He was a carpenter by trade, yet his teachings would build a foundation that millions would come to follow. His life was one of humility and service, yet his influence is immeasurable. Even today, his teachings continue to inspire, guide and challenge individuals around the world. From the Sermon on the Mount to his poignant parables, Jesus' words have left an indelible mark on history. But what proof do we have of his existence outside the Bible? Well, historical records do provide evidence. Roman historian Tacitus, in his annals written around 70 years after Jesus' death, references Christus, who suffered under Pontius Pilate during the reign of Tiberius. Jewish historian Josephus, too, mentions Jesus, describing him as a wise man who was crucified. Furthermore, the impact of Jesus' life can be seen in the transformation of his followers. Consider the apostles, simple men who, after Jesus' death, risked everything to spread his teachings. This dramatic shift in their behavior suggests they truly believed in what they were preaching. His teachings, his influence, the historical evidence and the transformation of his followers, all these elements together paint a picture of a man who was more than just a carpenter from Bethlehem. They tell the story of Jesus Christ, a man whose teachings form the very core of Christianity. So where does this leave us? Well, the evidence points to a man who lived, taught and had a profound impact on the world. A man whose teachings continue to inspire millions today. A man who, at the heart of it all, is the core of Christianity. Remember to subscribe, like, and drop your comments below. We've talked about the Bible and Jesus, but how can we test Christianity now? Well, let's start with miracles. Miracles are events that defy natural laws performed by divine intervention. The Bible is brimming with such accounts. The parting of the Red Sea, the healing of the blind, the resurrection of Lazarica, these aren't just stories, they're testaments of divine power. But what about today? Many individuals still report miracles, from inexplicable healings to providential encounters. While these can't be scientifically proven, they offer compelling anecdotal evidence of God's active presence. Then we have prophecies. Prophecies are foretellings of future events made by individuals believed to be inspired by God. The Old Testament is laden with prophecies about the coming Messiah, which Christians believe were fulfilled in Jesus Christ. From the place of his birth to the manner of his death, the details are startlingly accurate. Again, while historical and archaeological evidence can substantiate many biblical prophecies, faith plays a significant role in interpreting these as divine revelation. Finally, we must consider personal experiences. Many people worldwide testify to the transforming power of Christ in their lives, from overcoming addiction to finding purpose and hope amidst despair. These personal testimonies, while subjective, provide a deeply human aspect to the exploration of Christianity's validity. They reflect the personal relationship that Christians believe is possible with God and provide a tangible way of experiencing and testing Christianity. In the end, testing Christianity isn't a matter of a scientific experiment. It's a journey of exploration, questioning and personal experience. It calls for an open mind, a willing heart and a genuine desire to seek the truth. So as we delve into these aspects, miracles, prophecies and personal experiences, we're not just testing a religion. We're exploring a rich tapestry of faith, history and human experience. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let us know your thoughts in the comments. So how do we know if Christianity is true? We've embarked on a fascinating journey, haven't we? We began by sparking curiosity and asking important questions about faith and truth. We delved into Christianity, understanding it as a faith rooted in love, hope and redemption. We then explored the Bible, the bedrock of Christianity, a collection of historical accounts, prophecies and teachings that have shaped Christian beliefs for millennia. It's not just a book, but a guide, a roadmap to understanding the core values and principles of Christianity. In the heart of Christianity, we discovered Jesus Christ, the figure whose life, teachings and sacrifice form the essence of Christian faith. His life, as depicted in the New Testament, is a testament to the enduring message of love, forgiveness and salvation that is central to Christianity. We also examined the tests of Christianity, the miracles, the prophecies and the personal experiences that have affirmed the faith of billions around the world. These elements, while subjective, serve as personal affirmations and validations of one's faith. 
This journey, however, is far from over. The quest for truth is one that requires constant exploration, introspection, and conversation. So I encourage you to delve deeper, read the Bible, engage in meaningful conversations about faith, and reflect on your own beliefs and experiences. Remember, the journey to truth is personal and unique. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the